Hey guys, what's going on? Ray with Follow My Lead Dog Training. Listen, so I'm here. I uh, got my newest student to the game, Gronk. So Gronk uh, was with me for a few sessions when this guy was a puppy. And um, we did some of his basic obedience stuff. So as you can see, he's familiar with the prong. So uh, he has that on as we're working. But Gronk's got into a real protective thing uh, at home. And he has, uh, he has bitten <coughs> several people, not family members, outside of the house, um, protecting one of the owners. So Gronk's gonna be with me um, doing my board and train program. And we're gonna be working, getting his, his obedience tight on leash and off leash right which is gonna really really make a big difference for this guy but then also how are you let's go <laughs> and then also um, we're gonna be um, working on some other other little little stuff that go that he has going on but other than that he's a really sound dog the, the owners did exactly what they should have done and started training early, but they let some things go. Sit. They let some things go that a lot of owners miss. Um, and, and, and what it boils down to, it boils down to, when you have a, a dog of this size, check this guy out. Nope, sit. Look at this guy. When you have a dog this size, a dog's in general, you can't treat the dog like a baby. If you're calling a dog a baby, chances are you're treating it like a baby. And a dog like this, and dogs need good leadership, they need um, good assertiveness, they need exercise, they need discipline, so they're going to need a number of things that you wouldn't necessarily give to a baby. But when you call a dog a baby, you start to miss out on all the things that the dog needs. And this is, this is sort of the case with Gronk. Uh, this is the case with Gronk. And, and this is a big one that, would, that, that is happening with a lot of dog owners. You can't have a dog, German Shepherd, Rottweiler, Pitbull, uh, Bull Mastiff, 65 pound dog, 100 pound dog, uh, 30 pound dog, whatever it is, and treat it like a baby. Sit. And this is what I mean. When I say to sit, right, the dog has to sit. So I'm going to reinforce it. Even if he pops up, I'm going to reinforce it. And this is our first walk, guys. And this is, this is, this is going to be very important through this exercise because this dog has already had his mouth on a human being, which should, which should not happen. And if the dog doesn't get it correct and the owners don't dig deep and say, you know what, I, I, I have to change the way that I treat this dog. I can't be treated like a baby. These dogs end up being euthanized. When they go to the shelter, they're not, not, they're not going to a shelter and these dogs are going to be euthanized, man. You see how big this guy is? Look at this guy. Nope. Sit. 162 pounds, big boy, right? So we're gonna help this dog, right? We're gonna help this dog uh, learn some manners, learn his on leash and off leash obedience, get treated like a dog, and we are gonna transfer that information over to the owners so they can do the same thing. All right, guys, tune in. This is this is Gronk's welcome video. Tune in um, for some more action. We're gonna do a lot of work here with Gronk. Uh, started on his basic obedience. So, I'll, again, this is Ray with Follow My Lead, and I will see you guys soon. And where should your dog be walking? On your left side, beside you, or behind you. Right, so we're working here with Gronk through the prong collar. 
anytime watch the leash get a little bit tight here okay e even this right now is too tight okay so uh, what I mean by tight is the tension right so <laughs> what I'm gonna be doing is applying leash pops like this okay and guiding him back to where I want him okay and at this point I'm not talking to Gronk um, we're just going for a walk we're, we're not doing any obedience or anything like that I'm just communicating through the leash and prong and he's already been He's already, uh, he's been using the prong up until this point with the owners, so he already knows what the prong uh, feels like, what the message that is sending to him, uh, when he should be doing something and not doing it, so we're past that point with him, we're going to get right into to working. Alright guys, I'll see you in a minute. So right now we're working, nope, sorry for the bad camera motion guys, but I want to get this in here. Let's go, buddy. Sit. Sit. Good. So we're working the sit stay uh, right now with this guy. First time, I just want to see where he's at uh, as far as the sit stay. Good boy. Just trying to get a feel of where he's at right now. Good. Go back to the dog. Nice. All right, guys. Hey, what's going on? This is Ray with Follow My Lead Dog Training. Your dog trainer. Um, so while I'm here, and I'm going to be doing some work uh, with um, a dog that recently came in for my board and train program. And we're going to be working on uh, threshold work. Okay, so going in and out of doorways, um, and we're really going to be focusing on two things. We're going to be focusing on the dog sitting, so the dog doesn't have a really good sit-stay, so we're going to be focusing on the dog sitting and staying in that spot, um, and then we're going to be doing some, some basic recall work uh, to call the dog into the house. And this is something that you can do, you know what I mean? You, you can do this on a daily basis, switch it up with your dog, keep it fresh, and you can do this as you're going into the house and as you're leaving the house. You don't necessarily have to make your dog do what I'm going to show you in this video every single time, making the dog sit and then recall the dog in. You should go through that, um, you know, periodically, but really you want your dog to sit and you guys can go through the door uh, together. You just want the dog to, to not be pushy and overwhelming at the door, rushing you in and out of the house. All right, so take a look at the video. Um, I'm going to be using prong collar. I'm actually using a longer leash on this one uh, for this dog. I'm using, I think this is my, my eight foot lead that I'm going to be using. So we're using prong collar. The dog has already been worked on prong. Uh, so you, you'll get to, when you hear me say leash corrections or leash pops, you'll get to see some of that uh, in this uh, video. So take a look at that. Um, remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. We got uh, videos coming daily. Uh, like, share, find me on Instagram, all social media outlets at Follow My Lead K9. Again, it's Ray Turner with Follow My Lead uh, Dog Trainer, your dog trainer. Take a look.
Qualcomm. Good. 